launch command has been given. Telemetry registry equipment has been turned on. Also, the, the control, onboard control systems of uh, the, the registration equipment here. Ignition. The, power, the engines are powered up. seconds of flight of the booster of the Soyuz spacecraft. The first stage has been passed on which maximum acceleration is encountered. The speed, the velocity has exceeded 500 meters per second. are being felt by the crew 100 seconds into the flight the the rocket is proceeding in a stable manner the crew is reporting from on board the spacecraft engines are operating in a stable manner. Slight overload is being felt by the crew. rescue system has been jettisoned. The covering shroud has separated. from on board the spacecraft. Two minutes. Two minutes. So far, no sign of any problem. Looking across uh, at Apollo, I can see that the access arm, which allowed the astronauts to get into the command module, of course, has now been swung right back, and Saturn stands ready to go. In effect, one huge bomb, 650 tons of it, mostly liquid fuel, 67,000 gallons of liquid oxygen alone, 42,000 gallons of kerosene, and all to be burned up in just 2 minutes 20 seconds. The spacecraft to bring the spacecraft batteries online. Already the topping up of the fuel tanks have stopped, and the tanks themselves are being pressurized to make sure that the eight engines of the rocket's first stage will burn evenly at full power as soon as they're ignited. The astronauts are now on a private communications network which cuts them off from us, but leaves them, of course, in full contact with launch control. 
With one minute to go, water begins to pour over the flame deflector. That's a bit hard to see uh, at the bottom of the rocket. And moments later, over the mobile launcher itself. And at 50 seconds, the spacecraft is now completely on its own internal power. 45 seconds, and inside the command module, Tom Stafford punches the button for final confirmation of his guidance alignment. Here is the first pictures, the first pictures of the interior of a spacecraft, an American spacecraft, crew launch. The crew monitoring the instruments. I'm stuck with that. Beach. If something goes wrong, they come down into the water. Yes, thank you, James. Just about the roar. Coming up to the maximum dynamic pressure as they go through the speed of sound. And they're through it now. See that slow pull up there, not too much uh, G's, not too much pull on them. You can see that they can move inside the capsule quite freely. In spite of the tremendous speed, that thing is going at something like 1,500 miles an hour already. to the beginning of the inboard engines and the inboard engines cut out. And we have a report that we are losing some data here in the control center. Staging separation now. Data from the command module computer. And there it goes. And you can see the light going on. The engine firing on the S4B, the top stage. Truly advising the crew that everything looks good on the Saturn second stage. Any two jettisoned. There goes the tower. And the launch tower no longer needed. Uh, has been jettisoned this plan. You can see it falling off on the top of the picture there. Okay, we got Fifty miles an altitude now, eighty miles downrange. And about seven thousand miles an hour. Looks very good at this point. Uh, the command module computer data is in of it now and everything looks good. The uh, criminal in the central couch there looks as if he's calling up uh, data on the computer Three minutes, display. Seconds now, is that what he's doing? Yeah, right. that's correct. He's punching uh, data, checking the trajectory uh, and... Uh, checking heights and pressures and acceleration and everything.
10,000 nuclear weapons aimed at each Don't think it's all over. It's uh, just starting.